Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Scott, the original everyday VOpreneur, continuing to enjoy my vacation, hanging out in the hotel, but ideas keep coming up and I just want to share some more video tips. In this one, I want to give you a quick tip about marketing. So let's say that you've sent your introductory marketing email and the lead has responded and in their email back to you, they said, hey, thanks for reaching out. We'll be in touch if we need you. Now, there are a couple of different ways that you can interpret that. And here's what I mean. Hey, thanks for reaching out. Yeah, if we need you, we'll reach out. Or, hey, thanks for reaching out. If we need you, we'll be in touch. Exact same information, two totally different contexts. You're a voice actor. You should know all about direction and how changing our intonation can totally change the context of a sentence. So when a client responds back to us, thanks for reaching out, we'll be in touch if we need you, for some reason as voice actors, we tend to interpret that as a negative. We tend to immediately assume that we have now annoyed them and that they are saying that They'll reach out if they need us because they're just trying to blow us off. I don't know why this is what we do, but this is what the vast majority of voice actors do. This is probably what you do. And I can say that because I coach voice actors through this every single day of my life. So there's no context. What if they were really saying, thanks for reaching out. We'll be in touch if we need you. Doesn't it sound so much more positive and uplifting when you say it that way? Doesn't it sound like there's a lot more potential for an opportunity when you say it that way? Perception is everything, and sometimes email doesn't give us context. What I want to encourage you with, so that you don't get discouraged and quit your marketing, stop always assuming the negative. If you know that you are offering a service of value, and I'm assuming as a professional voice actor, you're offering a service of value, and you know that you're reaching out to people who could benefit from that service, then let's assume the best. Let's assume that when they say, thanks for reaching out, we'll be in touch if we need you, that they're genuinely saying, Thanks for reaching out. We'll be in touch if we need you. Don't just assume that that is a blow off. Don't just assume that that is the negative response. Odds are, if they don't want to hear from you again, or if they don't want to use your services, they're not going to blow you off in a passive aggressive way. They're going to tell you straight up that they're not interested. They're going to ask you politely, don't contact us anymore. And then they've just done you a favor because now that's one less person that you need to market to that was never going to hire you. What I want to encourage you with is remembering context. It's hard to get context in an email. It's hard to get context in a social media post. It's hard to get context through a LinkedIn connection. When you're not doing it over the phone and you can't hear their actual voice, sometimes it's hard to get context. Let's not just assume that what they are saying to us is bad. Chances are they're just saying what they mean. And we need to remember that so that it doesn't become an excuse for us to stop marketing. Want more voiceover tips? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, sharing new tips there all the time. Also, check out my coaching services at markscottcoaching.com. Sign up for a free 15-minute business and marketing consult. If you want, markscottcoaching.com. Don't forget to listen to the Everyday Vopreneur podcast as well at vopreneur.com.